In this video, we are going to understand percentages. 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 Okay. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to explain you what exactly percentage means. We will represent uh, percentage with the symbol. Now, any fraction, any fraction, let us say x by y, actually means x out of y parts. X out of y parts. Suppose there are four parts, four equal parts. One, two, three, four. They are not appearing equal, but just assume that they are equal. Now we are selecting three out of four parts. So this are three out of total four parts this fraction would be three out of four and we read it as three by four or three out of four parts here this is base this is the base so this is the maximum quantity available suppose there are four chocolates this is chocolate one this is chocolate two this is chocolate three and this is chocolate four then we are talking about three out of four chocolates so these are the this is the maximum uh, number of chocolates available now so we are talking about four out of three now percentages per cent this cent means hundred so percent that is for each hundred so percentage effectively means percentage or percent means for each hundred so for each four there will be three chocolates that we are going to consider then for each hundred chocolates how many of them are we going to consider so we are simply going to change the base from four to hundred and so how are we going to think about this so if you are given some fraction let us continue with this example only suppose we are having a fraction like 3 by 4 then to convert it into the form of percentage you simply have to multiply it with 100 so 4 wins are 25 the 25 3 the 75 percent now there will be percentage sign over here why this what this percentage sign represents is this 75 is out of 100 so if you want to remove this percentage sign then you have to write it in this form so 75 percent is basically equal to 75 by 100 and so we simply change the base if you will simplify this again the 25 3 that 75 and 25 4 the 100 you are going to get same fraction again so we are not changing the value we are simply changing the base from 4 to 100 and how why why we multiplied it with 100 to obtain the percentages just because one simple logic see 3 out of 4 we are considering 3 part uh, out of 4 parts then how many parts out of 100 parts and you and you need to determine this question mark simply have to cross multiply it so question mark is equal to 3 into 100 upon 4 and this is what you get so this is how you have to think suppose you are given some fraction say 6 out of uh, 10 okay you are given the fraction 6 out of 10 you want to convert the 6 by 10 into percentage simply multiply it by 100 0 0 and answer would be 60 percent why we multiplied by 100 that is because 6 out of 10 then question mark then or how much 
out of 100. Cross multiply this and you should get 600 upon 10. And here is a question mark and your answer would be 60%. So this is how we would work about percentages. That is converting from fraction to percentage. You simply change the base to 100. This is one of the things. This is one of the way to think. That is 3 out of 4 then uh, question mark out of 100. Now the other way. Let us consider the same example again. Suppose the given fraction is 3 out of 4. We are going to come to the same result but we are going to change the approach of thinking. See approach is really important. You need to understand all the approaches to understand the percentages in complete manner. Now this 3 out of 4. Now as I said earlier 4 is the maximum quantity available. So 4 actually represents 4 actually represents 100%. That is complete thing. 4 is equal to 100%. Then 3 is equal to how much? Question mark would be 3 and 200 by 4. And still you would be getting the same thing. That is because no matter what logic you apply, if the logic is correct, you are going to get the correct answer. So one way is to think like 3 out of 4 parts, then how much out of 100 parts? The other way is to think that if 4 is equal to 100 parts, then 3 is equal to how many parts? So these are the two ways in which you can think about percentages. And to remember it in a short way, you have to simply multiply, multiply the fraction with 100 to convert it into the percentage. Now suppose you are given something in the form of percentage, let us say 35%. 35%. Now, if you want to remove the sign, you have to write it in this form. 35 by 100. That is because when you write percentage, you actually means it is per 100. So for each 100, there will be 35 units. And this uh, 35%, but usually percentage is uh, related to some things. Like say, 35 percent of x so it will be equal to 35 by 100 into x uh, let me give you some example uh, by which we will understand the very first example that we are going to talk about is shopping yeah shopping thing you go to some mall you go to some mall and you want to buy some shirts you want to buy some shirts if you are a girl you may like you may want to buy some skirts whatever you want to buy uh, we are not concerned with that currently but you would see some tags like this which would say 33% discount 33% discount now what this 33% discount effectively means? This 33% discount is basically 33% of marked price. That is the maximum retail price. So 33% of marked price. That is 33 out of 100 into marked price. And whatever answer you get over here. Suppose the marked price is 100 then it will be 33 out of 100 into 100 so for each 100 rupee what this means 33 percent of mp is for each 100 rupees you will get 33 percent off sorry 33 rupees off so if the market price is 100 then you will get 33 rupees off suppose the market price is 200 then let us think logically for each hundred, you are getting 32 rupees off. Two hundreds will give you 66 rupees off. And that is what you should get as an answer. 66. So, this means that 33 out of 100 is means for each hundred you are considering 33. And for MP, that is mark price, you, uh, you want to know your exact discount. And this is how it works. Now, this was all about mark price and everything. Now increase and decrease in percentage. Sometimes, sometimes we say that the price has gone up by 1%. 
that is it has gone up by one so initial if if the initial price was x if the initial price was x then the new price this is initial price this is initial price now increase in price increase in price what I am talking about is increase just understand it has been increased by 1 person so 1 by 100 of x this in increased by 1 person with the base uh, the initial value was x so it has to increase from initial value with respect to initial value so it will be 1% of the initial value that is x then what will be the final value or increased value it will be x plus x by 100 that is 101 by 100 x and that is 1.01 x so it really means that for 100 you added 1% upon 100 that is 101 upon 100 1% is 1 out of 100 so 100 out of 100 plus 1 out of 100 will give you this so this was all about percentages and increase similarly if decrease is there that is if the initial price is x and in place of increase if there is decrease in price by one percent then only difference will be my final value will be x minus x upon hundred that is hundred minus one that is ninety nine upon hundred x so let us just uh, have a small recap of whatever we did till now first converting any fraction into percentage you simply have to multiply the fraction by 100 simply have to multiply the fraction by 100 and suppose the answer is z then you have to use the percentage sign with it you don't have to forget this percentage sign otherwise uh, one can say that it's wrong the next thing you need to understand is or we just understood is converting from percentage to fraction suppose p percent of q is basically p upon 100 into q p upon 100 into q that is p percent of q because as i said when you remove this percentage sign you have to divide that number by 100 into q so these are the two things that we need to remember converting from fractions to percentage and from percentage to fractions in my next video we will solve some of the sums of the percentages that is we will calculate a variety of examples that would help you to understand percentages in a better way all you need to understand till up to now is how to convert fraction into percentage and percentage into fraction thank you